What's up, YouTube? We back with another video. It's your boy Greg with DIY with the Richson and Amari. Yeah, man, we doing a duo, man. We doing a duo today. What we about to get into, man? No, no feathers, no. We not talking about the truck today. That's right, that's right. There was a. What's up? That's what we're gonna be doing today, man. We gonna do a DIY platform bed man I've been, we've been seeing this on youtube man my daughter she's about to be 16 and she wanted this for her birthday so pop's gonna do what pop's got to do we gonna get it done diy with the reason hey y'all like subscribe share hit the notification bell man you already know what it is and um uh, we're gonna get back with y'all man and show y'all what we got. okay so i have And you might need a bit more if your bed is bigger, but I have a twin flat bed as you can see, so I only need five of them. We're gonna put all these together. This is what they look like. And then we're gonna line them up in a bed. We're gonna put two up against here, two up against the wall, and then one at the baseboard of mine. Measurement on the box screen, we got 74 inches long. So 74 inches long, and it's gonna be right at 37 and a half wide. So what we're using, we're using three-quarter inch plywood, three-quarter inch plywood, because when we lay when we lay the plywood on top of these, we want to have enough structure where it won't be born in. So right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead on, we're gonna build the cube organizers and um, we're gonna go for that and try to layer that. <laughs> what? That's my storage. Hours later. Hey, hours later. Two and then do that and then talk about it because I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I 
what we what we gonna do? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start building these these um, organizers, and uh, they're pretty straightforward. So we're gonna go ahead and get this open. All right. So first thing they want us to do. These gonna be the small ones. Alright, so we got D. We need a dog, a dog pen. We got the small dog pens and the large dog pens. So we need the, the six by 30 millimeters. smaller than what we have here. Let me show, let me show you all we got. Got everything pretty much laid out. So the way this works, you're gonna have the inside boxes for storage, the outside, and then you can go under, you should be able to go under the bed and you got the insides there for all your storage needs. <laughs> This is all. Golly, I got this <laughs> All right, guys. So, man, this is this this what happened. All right. So, the measurements. I kind of knew we was gonna have to do some some all uh, some rigging up. So, this what we got. Let me just show y'all. This this ain't the finished product, but this what we got so far. Just looking at her mattress and on uh, on these. All right. Y'all don't laugh now. All right. So. As y'all see, that is pretty sad there. <laughs> that, is, that is pretty sad. Alright, so you to see the, the mattress. The mattress is not big enough. Now she can go with like a full size, because I think this is a single. It's a twin size. A uh, twin size. She can go with a full size and a full size will work. Full size will be fine. I think I might but, see but we can do some alterations if you want to keep this mattress. Some of my DIY 
ingenuity. We can cut this. I can cut this and take a whole section out. And then that way I can push it in. And that should give her the full length of her bed. But she gonna lose, she gonna lose one side. She gonna lose two on each side. We can do that or we can get a bigger mattress. My saw is free. My time is free. But my mattress, but the mattress ain't free. Anyway, alright man. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about this and we're gonna get back with y'all, man. Alright, gang. So she's doing a test run. So what we did, we decided to take that one out of the equation. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do it like that. Um, what we're gonna do next, right now we just putting the matches on there just to see what we need to have it lined up at. So what we're gonna do next, <clears throat> we're gonna get everything lined up and then we're gonna measure and we're gonna put the plywood and the plywood is going we're gonna drill the plywood to the to each one of these sections and it's gonna make it all one piece all right so we'll be back with you so now what we're gonna do is get our measurements for my plywood and i don't want my plywood to be showing so what i'm gonna do is on this side here that's showing i'm gonna bring it a little short so we're gonna go a little short with it so i'm gonna come up flush with that one i'm gonna come about a half an inch short so they give us 36 inches so we're gonna come up about a half an inch short. So it'll be in the um up under the mattress. So so 36 wide is what we're going to go with. 36 wide by we'll do 71 and a half. 36, 36 by 71. So we're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut this stuff and um see if we can get it. I got three quarter plywood, so it's been real thick, and um, it's gonna hold the weight. It ain't like it's got a whole much weight, but oh. 71 and a half inches. Right now, I'm reading 36 and a half. 36 and a half. 
36 and a half. 36 and a half. See here, we got about an inch here on this side, got a half an inch on that side. That way we put the mattress on, um, you would not be able to see this in my mind. That's how I'm thinking. Alright gang, so what I'm using, I'm using, um, I'm going to use inch and a quarter, because I got three inch. Because you do not want your nails too long where they protrude out of your organizer. So, we're going to... Um, I'm gonna use inch and a quarter screws, and um, that should get us set up where it don't penetrate out. All right. We're gonna take that many screws to hold it, but we just want it where it's not going to come apart. So as you see, this is sturdy. Um. <sighs> sturdy. Ain't going on well. So now we're gonna put the mesh on there and see how I look with the mesh. Everything up here and fix your beds up. That's it, gang. That's it. We'll get y'all an after view. I got to see make a bed up and get everything situated, but as you see, she got all her own um, different departments where she can put stuff at. And um 24 of them. 24. Alright, gang. All right, we're gonna get back with you. We're gonna show you the finished product. There you have it, gang. DIY with the wrists, man. Once again, me and my oldest daughter, man. We, we did a little duo, and um. We got it together. But anyway, like I said, man, my favorite scripture, Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Christ. Jesus, who strengthened me. All right, man. Y'all have a blessed day. DIY Rich. We out.